we're going to get started working on the scale find missing factors. Fill in the missing number. 3 times what is equal to 9? Now when we talk about factors, those are talking about the numbers you can multiply to get to a number. So for this problem, we're trying to find the other number you can multiply to get to 9. Now a simple way of doing that is to just find the factors of 9. So in order to multiply to 9, we can either multiply 1 times 9 or 3 times 3. Those are the two ways to multiply to get 9. So the missing number here that we're looking for, the other factor in the factor pair, is 3 times 3. Fill in the missing number. 1 times what is equal to 1? Well, the only way to get 1 with multiplication is to multiply 1 times itself. So the only number that can go here is 1. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. What times 3 is equal to 3? We take our answer of 3 and we find its factors. 1 times 3 is the only factors of 3. So the missing number is 1. One times what is equal to two? The factors of two are one and two. So the missing number that we're looking for is a two. What times two is equal to six? So we're gonna find our factors of six. We either have one times six or two times 3. So it's not going to be 1 and 6 because we wouldn't need one of the factors to be 2. Now just because we wrote it as 2 times 3, another way to write that is 3 times 2. Both ways we can get an answer of 6. So the missing factor is a 3. What times 3 equals 3? It's either going to be 3, 2, 0, and 1. So the answer that we're looking for is a 3. And the only factors of 3 are 1 times 3. So we know our answer is going to be 1. What times 1 is equal to 1? Well, 1 only has one way to get it, 1 times itself. So the only number that can go here is a 1. One times what is equal to 3? The factors of 3 are 1 times 3. So our missing number is going to be a 3. Now, if you weren't sure, could you try the other ones out? Yeah, for sure. We could try 1 times 5. That's equal to 5, so that's wrong. We could try 1 times 2. That's 2, so that's wrong. And we could try 1 times 6 which is equal 6. So that's wrong. So we know for sure that our answer is 3. 3 times what is equal to 6? The factors of 6 are 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. We need it, even though 1 is one of the factors of 6, 3 times 1 doesn't equal 6, so it needs to be this 2, because 4 and 0 are not factors of 6. So 2 is our answer. What times 3 equals 6? Our factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 
and 2 times 3. So this missing factor is 2.